Good morning, people of the interworld, all around the world on the internet. Thank you for tuning in. Before we even get started here, please make sure you're subscribed. I make videos all the time of my life on the road in North America here, based out of Canada, out of Manitoba. I'm here in Grand Forks, North Dakota right now. Our nose is pointed north, and that's the direction we're gonna continue going because we're going home. I have a load behind me that I picked up yesterday in Minneapolis area. Oh, yes. Fresh air, wonderful fresh air. Oh, it was the perfect temperature all night. Some people still like to idle it through the night on these perfect, perfect nights. I didn't need the bunk heater, didn't need a fan, nothing. It was wonderful. Let's get the hood open here. Oh, I'm gonna do my pre-trip. Make sure everything's ready to go. I'm gonna go deliver this stuff and then go home. Oh, I went exactly 900 kilometers yesterday. How about that? All right, let's make today a good day. Let's reset that tripometer. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Let's just double check my eyes. They told me that my trailer was attached on the fifth wheel. I've confirmed that. ourselves back on the highway about an hour hour and a half from the Canadian border and then probably about another hour and a half or so to our delivery degrees all oh, wasn't very nice I didn't ask for a red light it's gonna be a good day though I look at this clear skies it's already this warm here we go you guys ready y'all buckled in
swag. So this is Highway 59 right in front of us here. Uh, we're going to be returning northbound. Yay! Every single one of these interchanges is just awful. Come on! Come on! Engine along this road for 10 kilometers. You know, we really gotta stop taking the lowest mid when it comes to fixing our roads. Maybe we should have some, like, proof of work or something before we hand out contracts. It's gotta last longer than six months. Like that's a uh, topic for another time. This is Lajemodier Boulevard, northbound, southeast side of Winnipeg. We're gonna slide on into Winnipeg here, get this freight off my trailer. Make the receiver very happy, be on time and on schedule. After that, we'll bring the trailer back to the yard, go say hi to everyone in the office, make sure they remember what I look like. I don't get to see them that often because I'm always here in my office. And then we'll head home. Old Blue's going in for some maintenance this weekend. Uh, it's actually Monday, but I'm going to bring it there this weekend. Get a couple of things looked at, taken care of keep her in tip-top shape, you know what I mean? So when the inevitable inspection happens that I can sit there with a smirk and say, go ahead, take a look at it. Go ahead. You're not gonna find anything. I think that was a new record for getting unloaded. 10 minutes, they had three guys helping, so there's four of us. From the time I pulled the brakes to the time I was rolling away, 10 minutes. Put all my equipment away, rolled up the straps, got everything off the trailer, got the paperwork signed, got back in my truck, got it started. That was impressive. That was impressive. Uh-oh, uh-oh, I got a turn here and you're gonna be in my way. There you go, you caught it, you caught it, there you go. Winnipeg streets. Winnipeg streets. So yeah, that, whew, what a way to end a week. Like that's a good Friday. Unloaded so now I can go home. Like they understood the assignment. Showed up there. Friday fast as possible we all want to go home I love it I'm going down Concordia Avenue eastbound it's gonna take me to Lajemodier and I'm gonna take Lajemodier south through the city it's gonna turn into 59 south we'll drop this trailer off Who's here first? You go, you go, you go, and then I go. Now I wonder if they're ever gonna like twin this road here, Concordia, because I they left that grass there, so it's an option, right? You can put four lanes here. It's a pretty busy little street sometimes. But it's Winnipeg, so you never know. You never know, nothing makes sense. And that's, that makes sense. Cause it's Winnipeg. 
It doesn't have to make sense. You just, you just put Winnipeg in front of it and oh, huh, makes perfect sense. Oh, you're coming this way, bud. Okay. His signal wasn't very visible. Some of these trucks don't have proper signals on the side of their trucks. And it's hard to see from the side that they're turning this way, right? But it worked. See, here it goes the four lane. Just continue this all the way out that way. I don't know why they don't. Don't worry, they have a, a, a thick book of excuses ready to go. If you ask the question, they'll be ready with their excuse. Don't worry. Okay, we're gonna leave this trailer right here. Ready for the next person. I did my post trip on it, so I know it's all good to go for whoever takes it next. You guys wanna go home? Well, I wanna go home. <laughs> <laughs>